It's not clickbait. I really am ending the vlog. The monthly update vlogs, that is. Gotcha. <laughs> So I guess this will be the very last monthly update vlog. So we're gonna go out in style. Gonna change some things up. This is gonna be the new uh, direction of the channel, as well as going over some personal life stuff and things like that. Wow, that was very much out of order from how I normally do things. But Andy here, and uh, we're gonna go over some YouTube stuff as well as personal life stuff. So let's get into the YouTube stuff. As I said at the top of the episode, we're not gonna be doing any more monthly update vlogs for the channel. I've decided that moving forward, that type of uh, content, video, whatever, is not really conducive long term to what I want to do with the channel. I mean, it's nice for like a little update and stuff for the month, but like, let's be honest here, nobody's really going to give two shits and a fucking holler about what I did February 2012. Woo. <laughs> so they have basically a very short shelf life, and I'm looking to produce stuff that's a bit more um, as the kids say, evergreen, a bit more long-term. So that's the direction we're gonna be going into moving forward with the channel. Two things that you can expect uh, from me this year, content-wise, is more Life After Navy stuff. I've decided to refocus a lot of what I do on the YouTubes and focus more on answering you guys' questions about the Navy, being a bit more honest, a bit more open, a bit more candid, whatever word you wanna use, to describe my openness involving the Navy. Now obviously I can't go over like classified information or stuff like that, but I can be a bit more honest about my opinions about certain aspects of the Navy that I really couldn't with the NFAC series because I don't shit where I eat. So <laughs> let's put it that way. And I'm hoping to also uh, get some interviews and stuff with some uh, other vloggers as well, both uh, Navy vets as well as other branches and as well as other types of YouTubers. So that could be a future series coming up, but it all depends on scheduling and school and all that kind of stuff. So that's definitely uh, a thing that I'll have to uh, better iron out in the future. But it is something that I'm going to be working on here in 2017. Woo. And uh, another type of content I'm going to be coming out with this year is more Adobe tutorials, more editing tutorials. So I kind of dipped my toe in the water a little bit earlier last year. I did like five Adobe Premiere Pro tutorials, just covering some very basic stuff, little basic how-tos like how to make a picture slideshow, how to mute the volumes for the audio tracks, how to import media, all that kind of stuff. And I'm decided to uh, continue doing that because it's very well received by you guys. You guys seem to really like it. You want more. And who am I to deny you, right? So <laughs> we're going to be moving forward with that. Uh, but keep in mind, they do take a little bit of while to produce because I'm really trying to narrow them down, make them as specific as possible so they only answer like one little specific thing about either Premiere or Adobe Audition, which is the audio editing program that Adobe offers. To be doing tutorials in both and I'm also going to be doing a beginner's guide for both as well so we're going to be covering like some very basic stuff like you know for Premiere for example how to just put together a YouTube video it's not really that hard but I know that every day you know there's new YouTubers coming around and either they've never touched audio editing software or video editing software or any of that other stuff or maybe they're just used to like Movie Maker or iMovie or just like the very super duper basic, no frills, no gimmick kind of editing software. And they decide to, you know, move on up with the, uh, the Adobe Premiere Suite. And uh, they don't really know anything about it. Now, and a little background on me, I was using Sony Vegas, Vegas baby, for years and years and years. And it wasn't until probably like 2004. 15, I think, when I moved over to uh, Premiere, just because I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. Uh, the two big editing programs, it's one of them, along with Final Cut Pro, but I don't run Max because PC for life! Yeah, son. So I don't deal with any of that Max stuff, I just deal with PC. So my only other option was Premiere. And learning Premiere is actually really good because I think a lot of video editors and stuff in the professional field they use either Premiere or Final Cut, and the programs are very similar, so even if they use Final Cut, you can still kind of carry over your skills from Premiere 
and put them into Final Cut. It's just some things are laid out a little differently and whatever. So basically the difference is it looks a lot better on your resume if you know how to use Premiere versus Sony Vegas or iMovie or God forbid Movie Maker. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking burn that shit. So that's one of the reasons why I want to do these tutorials just to kind of help you guys get started on your, uh, your YouTube journey and to answer some questions with those. And the beginner's guide, like I said, is going to be covering some very basic stuff geared mostly towards people who don't know wrist lock from a wrist watch, pretty much. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Uh, so I'm just going to be going over like what things do, how to put media into the, uh, the little media library thing so you can drag clips onto the timeline, dragging clips onto the timeline, and how to organize and layer things and all that kind of stuff. We're not going to be getting into anything super groundbreaking. Just enough to get you started to make some semblance of a video on the YouTubes. So we'll probably just make like a very basic video, put a little bit of background music into it, and call it a day. So I really look forward to doing that. Now as for the more specific forms of uh, like little editing stuff, it's going to be answering, like I said, very specific questions. It's going to be very short. Um, aiming for around like three to five minutes on average depending on what we're talking about some topics obviously will be a bit longer than others but three to five minutes on average per one of those videos and they do take some time to do because <laughs> I have a tendency to ramble and I'm really trying to cut that down as I ramble in this video <laughs> so uh, it's gonna take a lot of time to just kind of edit down and focus focus so just be on the lookout for those coming up in 2017, as well as some new types of content, like maybe something uh, a little more comical. It was just kind of an inspiration because I've been watching a lot of uh, very funny YouTube channels. I know, right? I didn't think those existed. And I just kind of wanted to get on that game myself now. You know, it's going to be a little rocky at first because I've never done that style of YouTube video before, so maybe the timing might be a little off, so just try to be forgiving when I put out some, you know, some of the first types of videos. But hopefully you guys be well receiving to those uh, types of videos. And it's just something a little different. If it catches on, then I'll do more. But if not, at least it's just a nice little experimental thing to kind of help broaden my horizons. Because that's kind of one of the things about my channel is, you know, I don't want to be known for like one thing, you know, I don't want to be the Navy guy or the tutorial guy. I want to, I want to have many facets, many layers, you know, I'm like an onion, except I smell good. <laughs> so there's also that, um, might be doing some Andy K Let's Play stuff, you know, just kind of on and off. It's not really a, uh, a consistent thing because it's all based on games that I have, the time that's needed to play the games, record the games, and do a lot of kind of stuff. I did learn a lot from doing Let's Plays. That's one of the reasons why I really stepped up my game with uh, editing, especially audio editing. That's where I learned a lot of my audio editing techniques was learning how to do Let's Plays. Even though Andy Cade isn't really a super popular series, it really helped me learn a lot. And that's kind of the goal with this upcoming uh, comedy series, which doesn't have a name yet. I don't know if I'm going to give it a name or not. It's just going to be a different style of video. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. YouTube-wise, I'm really looking forward to it, man. Like, you know, 2016 was kind of a rough year for me because it was my first full year out of the U.S. Navy. Um, I didn't really know what I wanted to be when I grow up, you know, hookers and blow. It was very tough for me to readjust to not only civilian life, but American life and college student life after being four deployed FDNF out in the old J-Pans, which I do miss Japan, but I don't miss the FDNF life. No thanks. <laughs> But uh, I do miss uh, the life out there and all that kind of stuff. So that was a bit of a culture shock for me. It took some time to readjust. And I want to thank you guys for being so patient with me as far as uh, dealing with some of my more whiny, depressive periods. Uh, I'm not going to say that there won't be any of that in 2017 because, you know, shit happens. Life happens. But I have a good feeling about this year. I think this year is going to... Be a lot of good things coming out and we've had a lot of growth over this short amount of time that i've had this channel up as far as like it being my main channel 
I've had the friggin' the Andy San channel since 2008. So this shit's been around for a while. But it was originally my backup channel. And I decided almost a year ago it needs to be my main channel because when I was getting out of the Navy, I realized I was going to lose a lot of subscribers because I was leaving Japan. I know that there are some of you out there who only subscribe just to watch me do my thing in Japan. And there's a lot of you that subscribe that wanted to see me do my Navy thing. And, you know, that's, that's your prerogative. But I just wanted to make a big impact and make a big change and move over to this channel right here, the Andy Sun. And also because I wasn't getting those uh, sweet Navy checks and wasn't getting that sweet Navy coin anymore, I was also looking into other forms of income just to help kind of spread the wealth <laughs> and just allow me to, uh, to make a little bit more money so that way I don't have to be as strapped for bills and all that kind of stuff. And you know, I've been doing YouTube for going on 11 years now, so over a decade coming up here in like March. March 1st will be my 11th year on YouTube. I never really thought about monetizing stuff until uh, 2015 when I was getting out of the Navy just because, you know, I, I had a good job with the Navy. I wasn't ever really strapped for cash, especially not in Japan. No, <laughs> I saved a lot of money out there. So I wasn't really strapped for cash. I didn't really feel the need to monetize my videos because there was always, you know, being an old school YouTuber, it's kind of a, uh, it was kind of a hard thing to uh, just accept was, you know, getting money from ads from your videos and being all like, yeah, check out my Patreon, do all this other stuff, you know? It just seemed a little e-beggy and a little, a little too greedy and I was very much against it at first. I just figured, you know what, fuck it, I'm just going to do it because I love doing YouTube. So I decided to not run ads and monetize anything and all that kind of stuff, which really hurt me in the long run. I think I could have made a decent amount of money with it, but it's not all about the money. It's not about, you know, me being a greedy YouTuber, you know, getting those, getting them shekels, boy. You know, it's just about diversifying my sources of income. Hopefully, if this channel really takes off and I can make some money from it, not only from the channel itself, but from Patreon, which I'm also on Patreon, by the way, guys. So patreon.com slash theandysan. And I'm going to be working on, like, reward tiers and stuff like that. I've got a couple ideas. Uh, i got to say, it has been my very much neglected stepchild, the old Patreons. Because, again, this whole idea of accepting money for doing something that I love online is just a little... It's, it's weird to me, okay? It's, it's like... It's like a new pair of pants, you know, you gotta, you gotta break them in, you know. At first it's very uncomfortable, and it's very, you know, s tight, and pinchy, and itchy, and it smells like old man balls. So it's gonna take some time to kind of get used to it, you know, you gotta, you gotta stretch them out, you know, you gotta, you gotta just roll around in them, you know, just get the seams just right so it, it fits right. So, yeah, Patreon's gonna be something I'm gonna be really working on this year as well getting some reward tiers, all that kind of stuff. So be on the lookout for that. And if you guys would love to donate, you don't have to. You're by no means obligated to donate or go to my Patreon or whatever, but I would really appreciate it. All that money is going to be going towards uh, getting equipment as well as, you know, paying the bills and stuff like that. Depending on how much I get, it's just going to allow me to do YouTube more. So it doesn't really matter. What, to me, it doesn't really matter where the money goes, whether it's getting new equipment or like maybe a, another green screen or something like that, or if it's used to pay bills, because to me, the most important currency is time. You know, it doesn't matter where the money goes as long as it, you know, saves me time and gives me more time to do YouTube, whether that's editing videos, making videos, doing live streams, whatever the case may be. Time is what I'm looking for here. That's the mindset that I have going forward with being more mindful about monetization and how much my videos are making, how much I'm getting off of Patreon, all that kind of stuff. So it's not me being greedy, but I only have so much time that I can allocate towards YouTube. And in order for me to get more time in order to do more of YouTube, I need money to help pay the bills. To keep the lights on, to keep keep the computer on. 
to keep myself fed, because even though I look like I don't need any more feeding, if I'm all lethargic and shit, then uh, YouTube videos aren't going to look so good, are they? If I get more money on YouTube, I can cut back on hours at my part-time job, and my ultimate goal is to just do YouTube, well, part-time. <laughs> I can't go full-time just yet because I'm in college, but if I can get enough money from doing YouTube, you know, either through YouTube itself or Patreon or whatever, if I can make enough money through that, then I can, you know, eventually phase out my part-time job and dedicate those hours that would have been dedicated towards the part-time job and instead dedicate them towards doing more YouTube. And that is the ultimate goal with the whole Patreon, monetization, all that kind of stuff, is to do more YouTube. So, well, there you go. Personal life-wise, uh, doing pretty good in college. Uh, just started up the semester, so uh, obviously I'd be doing good. Uh, got a good feeling about classes this year, pretty easy. Nothing really too brain-bustingly hard, but the whole idea is to get my GPA back up, so that way I can transfer to a university a little bit closer to home Good old Ohi, oh, or Ohio. I don't know. <laughs> I never got into those chants, even though I'm from Ohio. It's fucking weird. But yeah, I just want to move to a university a bit closer to home, so I can be closer to friends and family, and not be all up here by my own sum here in old Kazu. Even though I think I've kind of, you know, grown to like Kalamazoo a little bit more. It's just. I'd rather be closer to my friends and family. And, you know, just, it's a lot easier for me to visit them if I'm closer to them, obviously. <laughs> you know, it's like an hour and a half drive versus a three and a half hour drive through snow in three states. And it's, it's not a good look. So, it'd be nice to visit my folks, you know, even if it's just every once in a while, it'd just be easier for me to do that if I was closer to home. Same with my friends. You know, I got a lot of friends in, like, the Dayton area. So I'd be a lot closer to them so we could catch up and do all this kind of stuff. Because, you know, I miss my friends, dude. <laughs> miss hanging out with them and seeing what they're up to. I mean, yeah, you got the Facebook and all that kind of stuff. But it's not really the same as just hanging out and chilling with your friends, you know. It's not the same. You can't beat that. And then, uh, once I'm done with the university, man, you know, just see if I can get a job out in the old J-Pans or maybe... Look at something in the uh, the LA area, <laughs> the LA area. You know, maybe working at a studio or something like that. That'd be cool. Yeah, just my main, more realistic goal <laughs> would be to uh, just work out in Japan. You know, maybe teach English to the kids or work at an Eikaiwa or something like that. Just to get my foot in the door, going back to Japan, and just you know. Live the life, man, because I loved living out in Japan, but I never really liked being in the Navy in Japan because it was very stressful. And, you know, the life of an English teacher is significantly, significantly less stressful than uh, being forward deployed in the Navy in Japan, being on call all the time. So, I don't care what any of you Joe Blow English teachers say. It's easier, damn it. So, I think that about does it for this rambly-ass video. Tell me what you guys would like to see in the future for the old Andy San Sam Adishta. Um, maybe any uh, questions you might have about audio editing software, video editing software, any Navy questions you'd like me to answer, any particular Navy YouTubers that you'd like me to interview. Look at you, JT Suits. What up, fam? Yeah, I can do it. <laughs> so with that said, this is the Andy San. Sign up for now, Megan. You guys pooped. Jesus, I think I actually pooped it. Oh, fuck. But anyway, thank you guys for tuning into this, uh, this, is, uh, update, uh, yeah, this update vlog. Uh, it's my last monthly one. I'll still do vlogs from time to time. Maybe a couple updated vlogs from time to time. But it's not going to be like, you know, every month I'll do one. So it's just going to be kind of a whenever thing, an as-needed thing. So I want to thank you guys for, uh, for sticking around with me almost a year into making this my main channel. We've experienced a lot of growth. I don't have the numbers in front of me, but we got a lot of more people than we did uh, at the beginning of the year. I think we've more than doubled if, uh, if my mathematics is right. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in, for those of you who've been around for the long haul, and those of you just tuning in today. Maybe this is your first video of, of mine that you've seen. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> but I just want to thank you guys for sticking around. 
Uh, if you'd like to donate a little a little coin on the old Patreons, uh, patreon.com slash theandysan. Like I said, I'm going to be working on some new tiers and stuff like that, so, you know, that's going to be coming soon. But if you'd like to throw a little coin my way, much appreciated. Not obligated, but appreciated. And I uh, also want to thank you guys for liking with the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party, and hey, as always, we'll see you! Catch you later, guys. Bye.